We are going to make a walkthrough of the most common layout widgets in Flutter. Therefore, we are going to look at different kind of widget, the row and column widget, the stack widget, the expanded widget, container and also list and grid view. If you are new here, subscribe to my channel and make sure to watch this video till the end. Let's get started with the row and columns widget. The row widget is used to align widgets on the x-axis and the column widget is used to align widgets on the y-axis. Therefore, we want to get started by looking at all the different properties the row and column widgets have. So here we have first of all main axis size, cross axis alignment and main axis alignment. First of all, we have the main axis size and here we can set it first of all to a value of min. And this means that all the children widgets are shrinked to the smallest possible size. However, if you set it here to maximum value, then it simply takes here the whole size it can get. Furthermore, we have the main axis alignment and cross axis alignment, what we want to look at next. Here you can change between the start position, the end position and the center position so that all of your widgets are positioned at this location. You also have the space between property and then the free space is equally distributed between all of your children. So here we have the same space and also on the left side we have the same space. Next you also have the space around and here it is the same thing as before. We have the free space is distributed between the children and also half of the space which is going then to the right side to the end of all of our children and to the left side to the start of all of our children. And lastly, we also have space evenly where the free space is distributed between all of our children. And we also have then the same space also at the end and also at the start of the widget. So this has here the same space as between our children. And in total, you can use these six properties to align your widgets easily. To make your main axis alignment work, you need to have the main axis size at max because if you set it here to min, then it is shrinking to the smallest possible size. And therefore you don't have here any more spacing for distributing it equally between the children or also between the start and the end. Therefore make always sure that you have set this to max. Secondly, you also can set the cross axis alignment and this can be also used if the main axis size is min or max. This doesn't matter because the cross axis alignment is this time aligning it vertically. And right now we have all of our widgets vertically at the start. However, you can also put it to the end or to the center. And lastly, you can set your properties to stretch to stretch it then vertically and fill all the remaining space. Let's also look at the column and the column is aligning then its widgets vertically instead of horizontally. Like before you also can set the main axis size to min and max and this time it stretches then also vertically instead and also if you have here your main axis alignment it is also vertical instead of horizontal and you can also use here exactly the same values as before. Your cross axis alignment is this time horizontal so you can also change here between the value start, end and center. And lastly you also can set it to stretch to take here all the available space horizontally. So in total we have the row widget which is aligning widgets on the x axis and we also have the column widget which is aligning widgets on the y axis. Next to it we also have the stack widget and this is aligning widgets on the z axis. Therefore I have created here an example with different colors and sizes. So first of all we have here this red color and this has in the smallest size and then we have another box which has the color yellow and also we have a large box and this has the color green. Within the children property you put then all the widgets inside which should be drawn first. So in our case the green widget is drawn first, then the yellow widget is drawn on top and lastly we draw then the red widget on top. If you would revert the order of your children and put first of all the red widget, then the yellow and then the green, then you will see only the green widget because this is drawn on top of every widget and then you don't see the yellow and red widget anymore. Now let's also look at the different properties of the stack. First of all we have the alignment, then we have the margin and we also have the clip behavior. With the alignment you can align all of your widgets to a specific corner. 
So for example here we have top start which means all of the widgets are aligned to the top left corner. You also have here top center then all are going here to the top center edge and also top end. Also center start to put it here to the center and then to the start position. You also can set it to center then everything is around the center and so on. So you have here different kind of choices. If you want to align your widgets more flexible, then you also can make use of positioned widgets. And therefore we will look at different examples how we can set the different properties top, bottom, left and right. We want to start by only putting the value top and left and then it is aligned to the top left corner. And you also can set then a different value, for example 10 pixels or 20 pixels and then it is simply going 20 pixels from the top here and also 20 pixels from the left side. The same also works here for other locations. So for example, we put the position to top center and then our widget is aligned to the top center and also has here 20 pixels in margin. You also can define top and right and then you also have here space on the top corner and also on the right corner. You also can set all of them so you can set the top left and right and then your widget is stretched. And of course you also can change here the margin to also change here how far it is then away from the top left and right corner. And the same also applies here for the bottom so you also can set bottom and left and you also can set bottom and center and bottom and right and you also can do here the same thing with stretching and then you also can change here of course your margin. Lastly you have here the clip behavior and you can set it for example to none and this means if you set here for example a negative margin then it also can draw over our stack size because the stack size is here this yellow boundary and we can also draw our widget now outside of this yellow box. However if you set here any other clip behavior then this is not working. So only with the clip behavior of none. And also if we change now our position and have here a minus margin then you see that we are going here over our stack. Let's also look at the expanded widget and the expanded widget can be applied within row and columns. So initially we set all of our boxes the blue, the green and also the red one around with an expanded widget and then we set all of them with a flex value of 1. Let's also use the expanded widget within a column. Here you can also change then the green value and you also can make it bigger for example or you can decrease the size of your widget. You also could apply a widget on the vertical and on the horizontal axis. Therefore if I put here a higher value inside you see that this widget grows vertically and also horizontally and even if I put it here higher. However, if I put here again then the higher value for red inside, then you see that both of them have a flex value of 3 and 3, which means that both of them get 50% of the width. Similarly, we also can look at another example. Here we also have then this red color and you can also align it then vertically for example and stretch it a bit or what you also can do is you can increase the flex value for your green box and then it takes you more space horizontally and lastly you also can set again the blue box and this is then changing it on the horizontal axis and on the vertical axis so both of them get more space on the right side and to the top side. Let's also look at the container widget and here you have the properties padding and margin and we want to control right now this second widget and here you can basically increase then the padding which is here this blue area around and the padding is then a space which belongs then also to this widget and what you also can set is some space and therefore you can for example increase the space between this widget and this other widget and now you see that we have here more space to the top and more space to the bottom. And you also could put here the padding again to zero however we have still the space between our widgets because we have set it to 20 or you can also put no space at all inside. Lastly we also want to look at the list view and the grid view and the list view is simply displaying then widgets vertically and you also can scroll them. And secondly you also can change here the scroll direction of your list view and put it to horizontal. And now our list view behaves like a row so it also stretches horizontally however we also can scroll here if you have a list view. Another widget which you can use is the grid view. 
And here you can basically put then the scroll direction also to horizontal, which means you can scroll here horizontally. And you also have this property of cross axis count. So you set here the cross axis count to three items. So we have here three items under each other and you also can increase it or decrease it. If you like, you also can change here the axis. So you can also scroll vertically instead. So now we scroll here vertically and also the cross axis account is then changed here to this axis. So here we have two items next to each other and you also can increase it. So you have, for example, three or four items next to each other. Another thing which you can change is the aspect ratio. And this means that we have here right now an aspect ratio of one divided by two. And this means that we have here one unit for our width and two units for our height. So the height is two times bigger and you also can change it. So for example, you have here four units for your height and three units for your width. And there you simply can then put different values inside. And if you have the value of one, then we have the same width and also the same height for our items. And of course, you also can put a value higher than one. So here we have five units for our width and four units for our height. And here I also can decrease then again the cross axis account so that it looks better because I don't have here so many images in this list view inside. And by the way, if you want to get here this whole source code of this application, you can get it with the first link in the description. And with the second link, you can get access to my Flutter courses, where I teach you how you can become better and a more efficient developer. Hello everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel here to get the latest news about Flutter. And see you soon, bye.